No, not my ice cream. No. Hey everyone, I'm Robinson. In this video, I'm going to talk about The Walking Dead on the Vita. The Walking Dead on the Vita is a good port, but some questionable decisions in controls bother me. So in the game there are two control schemes, device controls, which mean that you play the game like you would on a console, and touchscreen controls. I selected touchscreen controls. Big mistake. Because one, it's horrible to play like this, and two, you can't change the controls back in the options menu. Why? Why can't I change the control scheme in the options? Which means that in scenes like this, you don't move the camera with the right joystick, like it will be natural. But instead you move it with the touchscreen. And the controls are clunky. Also during play, there are moments where the game freezes for some seconds to transition to the next scene. But in rest, the port is really good. You get the first season of The Walking Dead, Telltale, without compromises, the game looks good and plays good aside of the freezes, and it's the same game. So aside of the controls and the occasional frame rate chugs, I'm very happy with the port. If you've never played the game, it's about a zombie outbreak, and the game is dialogue oriented, meaning that the game is based on dialogue options and decision making, rather than going into the action. But even so, there are action-packed and intense moments too. But the majority of the game is focused on the dialogue. And you should play it for its narrative. You should definitely play it for its narrative. I'm not into zombie games, but this game was amazing. So you can try it even if you don't like post-apocalyptic games. And if you already played the game, on the Vita you have the entire first season, which is my personal favorite, so if you want to replay it, just know that you get the entire first season. But it's a bummer that you get only the first season complete. From the second season you get only episode 1, which they also gave as a demo. And it's a bummer, I wish they made more episodes available on the Vita, because having such a great experience on the go is something really great. Also, in Season 2, they ditched the touchscreen and touchpad controls and adopted console controls, finally. Well, actually, to be more precise, you don't get to choose anymore. The controls are predefined to be more button-oriented, but you can still use the touchscreen if you want. You don't get to choose, you can use both from the start. And action scenes and other stuff is usually linked to the buttons, not to the touchscreen. Finally, I can use the joysticks and the buttons on the console. They feel much more comfortable. But it's just too bad that they didn't continue. You get the episodes from the menu and the menu says that you can buy them, but they never made them available for the Vita. You get only the first episode. And now with the store shut, it's final. There won't be any more episodes. So what you can play as The Walking Dead Telltale Season 2 on the Vita, you get only Episode 1. And it's a bummer, but at least you get the first season, which is my personal favorite. At least that. And the first season offers around 9 hours of playthrough, so yeah, at least we have the first season. 